Level 48, The Sunset Beach. Survival difficulty, class habitable, safe, sustained communities, devoid of harmful entities. Level 48 is the 49th level of the back rooms. Description. Level 48 is an infinite sandy beach front with a presumably infinite lukewarm ocean that is possibly devoid of life south of the beach. This level also consists of a large tropical forest located 200 meters, 656 feet, north of the beach. Level 48 has no day-night cycle and is stuck in a permanent state of sunset, with the weather being sunny. Level 48's sun has a red-yellow gradient color and gives off 30% of the sunlight that is received on Earth at noon. This level is of tropical climate and the temperature varies from 22 degrees Celsius, 71.6 degrees Fahrenheit, to 36 degrees Celsius, 96.8 degrees Fahrenheit, depending on the location within the level. Level 48's beach comprises of many luxury houses and hotels, these buildings vary in size, but they seem to look modern and luxurious in terms of aesthetics. They are all fitted with cotemporary furniture and appliances as well as air conditioning. Level 48 has lots of lush vegetation and edible plants. Because of this, finding food would not be difficult at all. Combined with the various livable spaces and amenities, Level 48 has been considered habitable by the MEG. The forest within Level 48 has dense tropical trees, including palm, conifers, broadleaf evergreen and deciduous trees, with various species of flora and fauna, most of which seem to resemble that of the front rooms. They are all non-hostile and possibly tameable. The flora and fauna that is unique to level 48 are usually found 30 kilometers, 18.6 miles, north of the beach and as such, have not been extensively documented. An in-depth list of flora and fauna within level 48 is provided below, fauna, langars, langars are docile jaguar-like creatures that have blue skin rather than tan skin as well as purple eyes. Langars have less sharper teeth than jaguars and are herbivores. They usually wander in the bushes within the tropical forest but can occasionally be seen in less grassy areas. Langars have better eyesight than jaguars and seem to sense and hear wanderers from up to 2 kilometers, 1.2 miles, away. They can run at speeds of up to 45 kilometers per hour, 28 miles per hour. Langars also seem to be immune to elements that would normally kill a wanderer such as sulfuric acid and liquid pain. They can survive up to three days without food and five days without sleep. There has been a report of a wanderer fully taming a langar, but this is unconfirmed. Giraffes, giraffes seem to be similar to front room's giraffes, but they have green skin rather than tan skin. They are much taller than giraffes with heights going up to 12 meters, 39 feet. Despite the tall height, giraffes are able to hold their balance and not fall over. They can run relatively fast, at speeds of up to 60 kilometers per hour, 37 miles per hour. The intelligence level of a giraffe is rather low, with them taking up to 6 seconds to sense a wanderer touching them. Giraffes can usually be seen in packs of 6 to 10 and can survive without food for up to 36 hours. Pinkthers, pinkthers are reminiscent of panthers of the front rooms, but the main difference is that their skin is a pink color. Pinkthers seem to be able to reproduce asexually, meaning that reproduction can be done with one singular pinkther. Pinkthers are 25% smaller than an average panther and are passive towards wanderers. Pinkthers can run up to 33 km per hour, 25.5 miles per hour, and can survive a lifetime one diet of only grass and leaves, making them herbivores. Their loud roars can be heard from up to 1.6 km, 1 mile, and are usually seen wandering in less grassy areas. Zapes. Zapes appear similar to front room's apes, but a zapes skin is red in color. Zapes are much more intelligent than apes, with them being able to comprehend and even speak in human language. They can also eat human-made foods as well as plant food within the forest. Zapes have been seen building wooden shelters using trees logs from the forest. 
Carrots apes also seemed to have larger ears than their ape counterparts. Carrots. Carrots are parrot-like birds that have black skin. Carrots are known to be far less intelligent than an average parrot and have a lifespan of only 20 years. They usually live in the most grassy areas and are often the most active in darker areas of the forest. A carrot's calling sound is also noticeably more distorted than that of a parrot. Flora, Veroca flowers. Veroca flowers are small flowers that look and behave very similarly to passion flowers of the front rooms, with the main difference being that they are always grey in color. Unlike regular passion flowers though, Veroca flowers can only live up to 8 months in the wild. The fruit that comes from a Veroca flower is called a Veroca fruit. Veroca fruits are grey, egg-like edibles that have plenty of vitamin C as well as potassium, so intake is encouraged. In turn, the liquid from Veroca fruit can also be extracted to create Veroca juice which contains the previously mentioned elements as well as lithium that can be used to treat mental illnesses, especially bipolar disorder. Bromeliads. Bromeliads are very similar to front room's bromeliads. The only difference is that their blooms last shorter than that of a bromeliad, two weeks in comparison to many months. Bases, outposts and communities. The Veroca farmers. The Veroca Farmers is a farming community made up of about 300 members. They can usually be seen harvesting Veroca fruits from their respective plants. They extract the liquid from the fruit to create Veroca juice. The Veroca Farmers have many shops offering Veroca juice and fruit. Entrances and exits. Entrances. Level 48 can usually be entered by no clipping into the sand of level 134. Swimming to the floor of a light blue lukewarm lake on level 121 will teleport one to the shore of level 48. Going through a window on level 188 depicting a beach in a state of sunset will lead here. Entering a door with a red-yellow gradient on level 21 leads into this level. Sleeping in a room covered with sand on level 11 will wake you up here. No clipping into a randomly appearing palm tree in the desert of level 46 will transport you here. Exits. No clipping inside of a hotel on level 48 will lead to the lobby of level 581. Swimming to the floor of a small lake will transport one back to level 121. Playing dead on the beach floor has a small chance of the shadow dragging you to level 100. This is not confirmed. Farmhouses may randomly be seen in the forest of level 48. Entering and exiting any of the farmhouses will take you to level 10. Footnotes 1. Pinkthas can live up to 30 years in the wild.